first trip of the year. So I made it to this uh, small gravel bar here and uh, I think this is where I'm going to stop and uh, get a lunch going. Uh, due to the fact that um, in Nova Scotia we've uh, we hardly had any snow, uh, we've been in a fire band, believe it or not, and uh, so things are pretty dry. So I brought along a, uh, a stick stove in order to get my meal going, but yeah. This will be my spot for the afternoon. So, uh, I'm going to get this little stick stove set up. And uh, i got a lot of dead wood around me here. So I'll be fine for that. Get this going. And uh, put the coffee and the meal on. Well, I can't think of a better way to spend an afternoon. I tell you, like I was saying, it's been a long winter and uh, I'm really, really looking forward to this, uh, this spring and summer. I got a little bit of uh, a new kit. I bought myself a, uh, I bought myself a new tent. Super, super lightweight. Uh, like under three pounds, um, easy to set up, and uh, yeah, so I'm looking forward to, uh, to getting, giving that a go, and uh, just getting back to to canoeing, and which I intend on doing a lot more of this um, uh, this spring and summer. I've got a trip planned to. Uh, Kedgie National Park. Uh, I'm in the midst of working on a canoe right now that uh, it's a it's a used canoe that I purchased. It's uh, made by the Swift Company in, uh, in Ontario. So um, it's a lot lighter weight than uh, than this Royal X Beast that I uh, that I've been carrying around with now. So uh, that'll be good and so that'll be really good for that trip because I've never been to Kedji, to be honest with you. I don't know how long or how bad the portages are, but uh, I'm getting on a little, so uh, <laughs> the, the lighter weight will definitely be appreciated, that's for sure. But uh, yeah, so today I just had the opportunity to, uh, to come out and uh, take advantage of uh, some spring weather. It's supposed to go up to uh, 14 degrees. And I don't know, it doesn't feel like that right now to be honest with you. It feels more like five or six, but I'll take it. Just gonna feed this little stove. So today on the menu is gonna be some uh, dehydrated chili with uh with a coffee and that's gonna be it short and sweet
Yeah, I think it's still uh, pretty cold for uh, for fishing. I think it might be another. We keep on getting these uh, double-digit um, forecasts. Might be able to get some uh, some good brook trout. There's really good brook trout in this um, in this stream here. So it's uh, it's a great place to come and just have a real bushcraft lunch. Nothing prepared. Just come out, fish, catch, cook. I think we've come to a boil here. Eesh. I'm gonna wonder if I even cleaned this last time I Oh yeah, it's just soot from the bottle. Alright, I think. Yes sir, we have a cheat. A rolling boil. bring in a little closer to uh, I usually just pour the water in a little over the top of it and that is it put the lid on let that sit for about 10 minutes or so and it should be good just get it right close to the fire here and coffee time That was nice. No, this is not cowboy coffee. <laughs> this is wimpy coffee. But, still good. Oh yeah. Might use a little bit of this and just heat it up some more to Clean out the uh... Well, let's see how good this is. Cheers. Wow. She pretty good. So to get up here is a little harder to get back down because basically I'm when I'm coming uh, up this river I'm going against the current and uh, there's a few little spots where it, it you know slows itself down where it's not too much of an issue but uh, there's parts where that's why I didn't do too much filming. not be any uh, fish accompanying my uh, my chili today. I don't know. I can't figure. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's pretty cold. This is just a little little pack rod that I bring out when I. Uh, 
when I go canoeing. I mean, especially I mean for uh, for you know brook trout and and uh, and that variety. Uh, this is just a cheap old little telescopic um, rod, and uh, works fine. Takes no room. I caught oodles of fish on it, and it packs down to that big when it's all said and done. So let me just take this. Stick it in my finger and just clip it on the on the foam handle. Yeah, this thing here is done dandy. I think it cost me maybe sixteen dollars at Wally Mart. Can't go wrong. When I come out canoeing, um, you know, even if it's just on a little day trip, I usually carry a belt knife with me or some kind of uh, cutting implement. Uh, today when I'm uh, is, uh, is a knife that I carry most of the time when I'm canoeing uh, simply because the fact that it's it's uh, made out of stainless steel and um, it's a fairly decent steel. Uh, it's not you know one of these super duper uh, or what do they call them super steels or anything like that but it, it's a good quality I think it's Vandium or something like that. I can't really read it and have my glasses on but uh, anyways it's uh, it really, really takes an edge uh, just dropping uh, quite well, which is usually kind of hard uh, for stainless steel, but this one, uh, this one does. It's got an excellent uh, 90 degree spine, and uh, it's got micarta, uh, micarta handles. Um, good knife, I like it. Uh, the only thing that I'm not a very big fan of is you'll see that it's got like a sculpted uh, finger choils there which usually I don't go for in a knife but in this one here surprisingly it's like perfect in this grip now of course if you're gonna turn it around and do like you know your 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 your, your uh, chest lever grips I mean after a while it, it might get a little uh, a little uncomfortable but I mean you know I carry this one around like I said mostly when I'm canoeing uh, and it does the job really well I think it's the the model is the Koodman uh, Kudman 148. Here's a little close-up of it. Hmm. Well, let's check on this meal. This is a three uh, three bean chili. Don't know. Is this ready? Mm. Maybe a little longer. Now, I haven't seen anybody on this river, and I rarely ever do see anybody on this river except for maybe the odd, um, the odd little kayak every now and then. But besides that, um, I'd say that Nova Scotia is a little, probably a little more of a kayaking culture uh, because of the, the coast and the ocean. Um, you don't see that many canoers now, mind you. Uh, I, I think that'll probably change when I go to Kedji. Uh I'm sure there's a lot of people there that. Uh, that uh, you know, I'll see uh, canoeing, but uh, no, I've noticed that uh, more times than none that it's it seems to be a lot more uh, kayak oriented uh, than than canoe oriented. But uh, that's fine. It leaves me all <laughs> these areas to myself. I want to try to perk this little thing up a little. Here we go. We have. We have flames. Get back on there. Get some wood. Here we go.
pretty good. I'll give you a show. Oh yeah. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Very good. I've been using the, um, the same cooking kit uh, for a long time, and uh, mostly use the I, I've got a clean canteen as well but uh, I often find myself using this uh, Nalgene stainless steel uh, I believe it's 32 ounces or 36 ounces um, and like I've shown in past videos I have a Pathfinder cup which has a lid that I nest on you know inside of it and on the top the GSI cup that's right on top of that and it's like perfect like a little unit uh, for any kind of outings really I mean you know I've used this kit for for a long time it served me very well but uh, today in the hope of trying to go lighter weight um, I ordered something online and it's titanium 750 milli milliliter uh, pot set uh, came in this decent little stuff sack. It's from Tom Shoe, and um, I'll give you a little close-up of this. But I'm hoping—I haven't even tried it yet, but we will soon find out. I am hoping that. Oh, oh yeah, perfect. Okay, that was my worry that it will fit inside of uh, inside of this. So, what it is? is it's a titanium cup with the uh, the fold out the fold out handles it also has a little hanger um, right there but it doesn't get in your way if you just wanted to use it to drink out of it just folds down and uh, boom out of the way so yeah um, it is you know when you start trying to save weight, I know a lot of people say, well, oh well, you know, uh, is it really that big of a difference? Well, it's at least, this is at least twice as heavy, you know, and I, not that I found this all that heavy, but I mean, that's the way you have to start. You've got to start with ounces, a little bit here, a little bit there. Um, that being said, I've been very satisfied with my, uh, with my Pathfinder, with my Pathfinder cup, I've got a few of these, um, and probably one is going to go into uh, just um, like a kit in my car or something like that. Um, but yeah, still really satisfied with these. And I have a I, I have a hunting bag that that has like its own gear in it, and probably uh, uh, my one of my uh, my uh, cups will. Uh, will be going into into that one so they're not they're not going to be uh, you know done away with but yeah i just wanted to give this a try i've never i've never used titanium um some people say that it's uh, f it, it conducts the heat fairly well um i've heard some people say it doesn't um i know that apparently uh the container itself can be very 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 hot uh, so you have to be, you know, very mindful when you when you are eating from it. Uh, the reason why I didn't use it today is that it just came in the mail when I was pulling out of my house to come here. Um, I noticed the the box in the mail, so I didn't have time to clean it or anything. So uh, I just went with my uh, my uh, true tested uh, cup. But uh, yeah, I wasn't actually sure if uh, my Nalgene bottle would fit uh, on top, but perfect fit and actually the, the good thing about this too is that the lid fits my GSI cup perfectly so bonus now the lid is just your standard lid, uh, lid with a little uh, tab that if you pull it over to the side uh, it stays up if you push it down 
it goes down but I mean uh, yeah it's got little uh, steam holes or draining holes too I guess they could be used as but yeah fits right on top of that one uh, and let's see how the whole thing fits close those close these boom unfortunately I don't know if they make a, if they make a, 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 a titanium a cup the size of uh, of the uh, of the GSI cup. I'd have to ask around, or if any of you do know, uh, if uh, some of these companies offer uh, a cup that would be the same size. That'd be perfect because it would fit right on top, and it would lighten the load a little bit. I mean, a lot of times in bushcraft, to be honest with you, you know, you're 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 not. This is not like backpacking. Or, uh, or or anything like that I mean you know you do try to lighten the load somewhat but I mean it's not as exaggerated as it would be for a backpacker or a mountain climber or uh, or you know people like that um, they're the ones that really try to shed uh, the, the weight off I mean you know um, I have this solo pot which is fairly lightweight uh, and I've got the Morse pot which is I would say actually lighter than this but uh, yeah, so I mean for a little cook kit to uh, take out with you, you can, you know, you got one to boil your, uh, boil your water, one to drink your, uh, your beverage out of, and one to dehydrate your food or cook your food, uh, your soup or whatever in. Perfect. Just as I was... Uh I'm going to turn the camera off. I spotted these two beauties. Now. Do a few uh, few kilometer paddle out of here and uh, see what we can see along the way. I don't think it ever really reached the high that it was supposed to. It said 16, but <laughs> I doubt that very much. But 16 or 6, I tell you, this is what it's all about. Wondering if uh, if it would be of any interest to uh, to people to uh, to get just a, a real little beginner's uh, how to on on uh, on canoeing. It's very surprising to me that I see some videos of some uh, fairly decent sized um, channels, and uh, it always amazes me. To, uh, to see people uh, not quite doing proper strokes or n not that it's not quite proper it's just they're not as efficient strokes uh, as they could be using uh, you know like the Canadian stroke or the J stroke or so I don't know if that's something because I know a lot of people think well you know canoeing is you know you'll often see people uh, you know like go one shot here, whoop, they're flipping over, one shot there, two, whoop, you know, 
they're always changing sides and you don't have to do that you know but a very very easy stroke uh, correction uh, like a J stroke where you're you're turning your fist down you're using your uh, your paddle kind of like a rudder you can go in a dead straight line and there's like three or four different strokes to achieve the same thing I don't know if that would be of any interest to anybody but um, just putting it out there God I wish I didn't have to work <laughs> It always amazes me how uh, certain little wild creatures will let you get so close to them when you're uh, when you're traveling in a canoe. Much closer than you would if you were uh, trying to uh, to approach them on foot. And of course, by the time I got the camera on, <laughs> they flew away. I haven't seen very much in the... Mind you, I should have gotten out here a lot earlier in the morning if I wanted to see any beaver because there's there's uh, quite a lot of sign of uh, beaver activity on this river. Um, a lot of beaver chew and, and that sort of thing. I have a new... Uh, a new wind muff on, uh, on my camera. That, uh, that I'm using and I'm really hoping it's going to work today because it's quite windy so well we're only about maybe I don't know a couple of clicks to, uh, to the drop off so not too too bad I'm just going to Paddle along nice and slowly and uh, I'll meet you at the uh, at the drop-in spot or in this case the drop-off spot it must only be about a kilometer away for uh, where the put-in was I can hear the I can hear the traffic that means Oh, I can see in the yonder, yeah, I can see the, the overpass bridge. Oh well, coming to an end, slowly but surely. All good things must come to an end. Well, folks, that was it for a little day in uh, a day in the canoe. I had a really good time. I really enjoyed it. Uh, you're going to be seeing a little more of this because, to be honest, this is more what I do. I'm, I'm more like spring and summer and fall. I do a lot of canoeing. Last year I did. Um, I just didn't film it. Um, 
I'm starting to get a little more familiar with my gear now. Uh, like today, I brought along a Canon Vixia, which is pretty much um, autofocus and everything. Uh, I found that sometimes, because of my level of expertise with uh, my DSLR, uh, there's a lot of uh, fidgeting and, and, and a lot of things go wrong when I'm at a far distance that I can't see. Uh, my automatic focus uh, does not uh, track that well, so I've always got to open up the aperture all the way to try to get clear shots. So last year when I did do some uh, several canoe trips, I opted just not to record because it was just so much time uh, that I felt that I was taken away from, uh, from the trip. Um, but this year, for those trips, uh, I have uh, like a much easier camera to, uh, to operate, uh, so I don't have to worry about so much about f focusing issues. Um, and that's probably the way I'm going to go. But uh, this spring and this summer, uh, keep an eye out. There's going to be a lot more of these uh, canoe camping videos. Uh, like I said, I hope to do uh, approximately a week-long trip um, in uh, Keji National Park. Uh, I'll be doing some, um, uh, some canoe trips on Crown Land. I'll be doing some canoe trips in the Highlands uh, on, on Crown Land. So uh, those are all the little things to expect for, uh, for this spring and summer. Anyways... I hope you enjoyed this little trip, and uh, like usual, be good to Mother Earth. <laughs>